if you've ever thought you cut your bleach valve off and you were flushing your pump out with water only to find out a few minutes later that you had actually cut the water valve off and you were running pure bleach through your pump and uh, onto the customer's lawn go ahead and hit that subscribe button guys and get down there in the comment section uh so today i wanted to do this video like a long time ago and i thought i did but i didn't i think i videoed it and i never uploaded it so we're going to talk about clothing for the pressure washing world so i just ordered myself a bunch of these uh huck brand shirts under armor used to make these shirts and are sim a similar shirt they're they're summer right they're lightweight they're perforated breathable they got the vented back thing in them. i love this style shirt under armor quit making them a couple years ago the under armor version was actually a lot heavier than this shirt is just holding them you know hand to hand so i love these very lightweight and they're good for uh concealed carry too because they're kind of long and they cover the boom stick on the side so obviously we're not wearing this to go out pressure washing but i've got my uniform shirt that we wear our southeast soft wash shirts uh, up under that and it's about time for us to get some more shirts um bear with me <coughs> Ugh. it's gonna be a pollen day i guess so <coughs> Whee! they always come in twos it's like girls going to the bathroom some say that they're wired that way but we're, we're not wearing this we're wearing these shirts uh i get a bunch of shirts every year for me and the guys and what these are and i, I really like these under these t-shirts they're 100 percent polyester but they're the sport wiki kind of material the brand is a4 so the letter a the number four uh, our local um football team uses them for practice jerseys so we got a local guy that we wash his house every year and he's a screen print guy and he hooks us up and does the screen printing and we trade out wash his house and so we we get new shirts pretty much every year um, and I like these shirts a lot. I wear short sleeves year round and I just wear a jacket over it because uh, when I'm going indoors, I'm gonna get hot. So um, they work out fine. I really like them, they're comfortable. You've got to find something that's 100% polyester, but be careful in your quest for poly shirts because they're not all created equal. Some of them suck. They're hot, they're itchy, they're, they're just not good material. So I'm a, I'm a real big fan of the sport wick kind of fabric and even in pant, pant pantalones, okay? These are kind of my go-to pants right here. These are 5'11 Apex pants and it's about time for me to get some new ones. I've got about six pairs of these. And as you can see, as far as bleach staining goes, down here at the bottom, you can tell it just a little bit that they're a little bit faded out but honestly you cannot tell it in person walking around when i'm i've never had anybody say well, man you got bleach on your pants because you can't tell it now that only applies to the khaki in the 511 pants on the apex pants i got another pair that are their capital pants and they bleach out like that and they're the same color but this particular pant they're stretchy they're lightweight they hold like y'all know i carry a gun all the time so they're good for that like they've got pockets for magazines and stuff like that and they're they're good to work in they're lightweight and breathable and they stretch that's what that's a big deal to me and they they bleach eventually but like this was straight uh 12.5 got on them right there but it, it's not like really really noticeable the reason that i'm i'm due for some new ones is because mostly working in the shop i've gotten paint and true blue on them so this is a good option um this is another good option, cheaper. Let me see, no, not that one, this one. This is another good option. These are Magellan, no, these are Wrangler from Walmart, okay? Stretchy, and they are, let's see what the tags say. 98% nylon, 4% spandex. So they're the stretch and they're nylon and they're pretty good at resisting bleach, like I've gotten bleach on them and all it does is that right there okay so it's not like a white spot and I understand I just kind of have this in my head that yeah it's not going to be bleach proof I'm looking for fabrics and colors that kind of are bleach resistant so the lighter colors like khaki colors they're not going to show a light spot as bad as like a dark pant and you get bleach spot on it it's gonna be more noticeable but here 
is my new favorite, okay? And I've got a pair on right now, and I'm gonna order some more of these. These are my new favorites, Ascend, says it right there, Ascend pants from Bass Pro Shop. Um, I really like these things. I got two pair of them, and there's a couple things that I like about them. Let's see what it, what they're made of. It's 94% nylon, 6% spandex, so a little bit more stretchiness. Uh, they're super lightweight. Like I cannot tell you, these don't weigh. These are hiking pants, so they're made to be lightweight for for hikers. Bleach resistant, just like everything else. Um, the waistband has this lettering and it's, it's rubbery. So it kind of grabs your shirt. So if you tuck in an undershirt, like I usually do, I have my, an undershirt tucked in that keeps my gun from touching my body and get sweat all over it. It's just a bear, a cloth barrier, um, that kind of locks onto the shirt fabric and it keeps it in place and they don't wait. Like these feel like pajama pants. These are very, very they're they don't obstruct movement going up and down ladders that's that's important to me too i want to be able to have good stretchiness so that i can go up and down ladders comfortably and i'm not bleached out things that don't work uh carhartt pants eh, ain't gonna work denim eh, ain't gonna work you get i mean blue jeans you just ruin them so i haven't worn a pair of blue jeans hardly maybe just a few times in the last 10 years because the fabric is heavy and it's hot and i can't stand it so these are really good guys and i've got a pair on right now and i've only got two pairs so when they come through the wash cycle and they're back in my drawer i'm like yeah i get to wear those today so again not nothing like this but now there's fin print and there's 72 hour print i've never ordered anything from either one of them i've heard good and bad from both um i don't personally feel like you need a race car jersey looking shirt to go out and look professional pressure washing not that there's anything wrong with it, like George Costanza would say, but you do want to have a uniform shirt, right? And you do want to be comfortable and you, you do need it to be bleach resistant because that's what we're fooling with all the time. So it needs to hit those highlights and these pants do it for me and these shirts do it for us too. So annual uh, clothing allowance budget, you know, I'll let the guys, they buy their own pants, but uh, well, I take care of the shirts and we're talking 400 bucks a year, you know, something like that. So it's not a whole lot of money uh, every year. Now you might can get by with two years if you're careful, but pretty much every year we throw them in the trash and get some more. So just a, just a write off, just a business expense. Hope you guys have a fantastic Friday. We are headed to the shop to do some training for some guys that are picking up a mini skid and a trailer today. So we'll check in with y'all later. See ya.